this is a great job. Okay, some weeks greater than other weeks, but overall it's, it's, it's a pretty good job. And one of the reasons I say that is that there's always new situations coming up or new questions coming up and you know, working with the agents is, is really a good time for me. Um, and last week a question came up that I, I really hadn't thought about before. And it's kind of in the uh, so, you know, industry situation we're in right now where you know, short sales and, and bank uh, approvals required. But the question was, let's say you list a house. And you list it at a certain price. And you know that there's going to be a short sale involved that has to be negotiated out with, with the lender. Um, but you, you, you pick a price that you think will work. What happens if an offer comes in from another agent for a full price offer on this property? And there's no contingencies, it's a, it's a cash deal or you know whatever the deal is, but it's a full price offer. If your seller turns that down or the bank turns that down, are you obligated to pay the commission to the other agent? And in fact, this could be not just for short sales, but, but anytime you've got a, um, a price out there and another agent comes in and offers you a full price, do you offer uh, or do you owe them a commission? And the answer is no, you do not. On the MLS, that's an implied contract between us and other companies saying that, you know, here's the number that we're putting down there and we are agreeing to cooperate with you once the sale is closed, the offer itself does not constitute a closed offer. And so you uh, are not obligated to pay a commission just because they come in with a really good offer. And you can, however, go after your, your client if you'd like, uh, especially if it's not a short sale, and, and demand your commission because you've got a contract which specifies out if you bring an able, willing, and capable buyer to the transaction and offer them you know, no contingencies that they in fact either have to pay you your commission or uh, accept the offer. So again the contract is only between you and your seller as far as getting paid not between you and the other agent and uh, as I say it, it's great I hadn't thought about this one for a while so you know keep those questions coming in. Thanks a lot.